Hi, it's Wula, and I work here at the IMF. Here's a quick fact you didn't know about me, though. I love blueberries. Blueberry muffins, blueberry pie, blueberry scones, anything blueberry. But what does this have to do with economics? So, I go to the grocery store to buy blueberries. The lower the price, the more I'm inclined to buy, maybe two boxes instead of one. That's the law of demand. The lower the price, the more you demand. Now, let's say I'm a farmer and I grow and sell blueberries. Well, for a seller, it's the opposite. The higher the price, the more blueberries you want to supply and sell, because the more money you can make. That's the law of supply. The higher the price, the more you supply. Now, where these two lines intersect is our equilibrium price, or market price. That's the price I pay to buy my delicious blueberries. So far, simple, right? But here's where it gets really interesting. What if there's a new report that shows that blueberries are even better for your health than you thought? Now at the same price, we want more blueberries, so the demand has gone up. Now the entire curve shifts to the right because at any price, people want more blueberries than before. And what if really bad weather destroys some of the blueberry crop? Now, at every price, farmers will supply less, and the entire curve shifts to the left, and the equilibrium price increases. So now, only the people who can afford really expensive blueberries buy them. The rest of us switch to grapes.